Hey guys, my name is William Jones. In today's video, we're going to do a SEO audit and a Google My Business audit. That's right, my name is William Jones. We're going to be doing an SEO audit and a Google My Business audit. So let's go right ahead and dive right in. A client, potential client, he's looking at this and wants to know what can he do to get a rank number one. So we're going to look at it and see where he's at, you know, kind of where he's at, where he needs to go. And we'll go from there. So, just a real quick, this is not going to be an in-depth thought, it's just overview, if you will, if I look at this site. So, you have a sticky menu, that's good. A sticky menu essentially means when I scroll, the menu up at the top follows you. And you always want that because you don't want people to scroll down the middle and be looking like, where's the phone number and not know where the hell it's at. So we always want that. You have your phone number, big bright red up there. I love that. You have your social media outlets up here. That's cool. Um, you have all this empty space, right? So I would actually want to use that for blogs, tips, guides, a bunch of stuff. I can tell you right off the bat, your website needs a lot more content. Um, your Hero header here, or what I call above the fold, Google looks at above the fold. What you could see in your line of vision, you have safe move, book your move. So first problem we have here, you don't have an H1 header in your above the fold or hero section. Okay, you need that. We scroll down, you have all this white space over here. It's just not utilizing your space as good as I would like. Yeah, instant booking, pricing, coverage. So one of the things I personally would want right here would be actually your services, not really this information. This can come later. Book your move. I like the fact that you keep having, if you will, your call to action after every little section, which is perfect, which is what I teach people to do too. Um, you have your areas served here, but they're not going nowhere. And then even this is cut off, you could see. All right, so you need several things. You need a, I always want to put, if you've ever looked at my site here, <clears throat> excuse me, I want this write a review button up here at the top. So when they click it, it goes over to the GMB, pops up, write a review with the specific search, the lewd CID, and the LRD, which is all tied over to the GMB. Then the next thing I want, I want what we call a Google review embed, which is like this right here. Then I want those same textual embeds actually embedded on the website like we have right here and then they're each connected over to the user's profile last but not least i want the gmap embedded as well as once again we're going to create a pdf that's going to have all of the reviews and those are all linked over to the user's profiles as well all of that ties back into your google gmap your business listing, your CID, your LRD, all those important factors, your machine IDs, everything, okay? Now, if we were to look at all your content you have on page one, you only have 550 words. For the moving niche, a very competitive niche, you're going to have a hell of a lot more words than that. Okay, so that's just part of it. Now, if we go over your services, let's look at your services. You have little to no content. Little to no content. Okay. And I could do this on every one. A proper website, just to give you an example, moving site. This is the type of amount of content we're talking about when we do moving. Okay. Um, this is a site that I built out. And we dominate, I believe it's a 40 mile radius or something like that. It's a ridiculous amount. But the amount of content we have, right, is just beyond ridiculous, right? Our moving services. We break down every single moving service, right? 
tons and tons and tons of blogs. And with this site, we rank 40. This is in South Florida. It's about a 40 mile kilometer radius or 40 mile radius. And then all of our location pages. Another thing I would do if I was doing this, I would say, okay, let's say what areas you want to serve. And then I'd find out what are the condos, what are the apartments, what are the neighborhoods. Create my location pages. Then I'd create apartment pages, condo pages, information about those condos and apartments. And then a bunch of other stuff that we like to put in here. Like if you go to our service areas pages here, you'll see when we create our service pages and we have our neighborhood pages, etc., we have our things to do, places to go, you know, you have a lot of work to do if you really want to be page one. Um, now, if I go over here, I mean, even on this, for example, you don't even have your map embed here. So that you don't have a contact page. I'm going to assume you get a quote page as your contact this page. But you don't have the GMAP there. But I know you have a GMAP because you sent it to me, right? So this GMAP should be embedded on the website. Now, if we look at this, you only have five Google reviews. You are responding to them, which is good. You'll have no question and answers. You should be doing at least 10 of those a month, right? You have no... Um, GMB posts or updates you have no offers nothing um, I'll run it but I want to tell you you're gonna to need to do a hell of a lot of work for it so let's go to local Falcon local Falcon gets those pretty green or red geo grids however you look at it that I like to run on a weekly basis or I run for my clients whenever they need them. All right. We're going to look for your location, see if we can find it. I'm going to say your moving company. All right. So let's just go for moving company. We're going to do a couple of searches, but. It could be moving company, moving company near me, moving company in Belmont. But generally speaking, most people are going to type in, let's say, moving company Belmont or moving company. We'll start with the hardest one, which would be this one. Then we'll go to Belmont, which would be easier to do um, or easier to get ranked. If you can't get ranked for that, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty easy to do. So. Um, you're saying South Texas here, but in your H1 or in your title up here, it says Belmont. So I'm going to assume it's Belmont, but let's go ahead and go and run this report real quick. Take a little bit of time while it's running. We'll keep going. And while this is running, we're going to wait for results. But another little cool tool I like to use is right here. It's called SEO Meta in one click. If I click on this, it tells me what's missing what you got going on header wise your h1 header is let's make your next move a move safe move that tells me nothing about what you do it tells me nothing about where you're at so your h1 should be let's say moving company belmont all right um that's the biggest thing you need to have right there your images none of your images have the keywords in them that you need your location none of them have the latitude and longitude in them um, then we can go over here and analyze your page speed as well and see how fast the page website is or is not. For mobile, according to the Google Core algorithm update that just happened a few months back. I like to look at everything. This is going to give you an overall picture of what you need to have done. So your website's not fast enough, needs to be faster. It's not even fast enough on desktop. Okay. And you're nowhere to be found when it comes to that term, moving company. Now let's do moving company Belmont, okay, just to see. And that should be the easier one to get ranked. I'll send these reports to you after we're done. So let's go Belmont. 
run the scan, and we'll see where you're at. What we normally do is we start out, we want to, when someone's got a red geogrid like this, we start out, we want to get them just ranked in two and a half miles. And after two and a half miles, I go to five. After five, I go to 10, after 10 to 20, 20 to 30, you know, 40, and so on and so forth, depending on how long they're with us. Generally speaking, in a non-competitive niche, it won't take too long. But let's go to Google and say, company, or let's go Belmont, Texas, just to see population, how big of a population this area is. I need about six weeks to get it ranked. Your population is not that big. So if you only want to get ranked in Belmont, six weeks and I can have you ranked. And I can show you when I've done this before, but for example, that sod installation site you saw, it took me about five to six weeks to get him from red like you are. No rankings, nothing, no backlinks, no content, nothing. We built out the site, and within six weeks, he was dominating the three-pack. So, Once again, even with the easiest term, you're not ranking. You only have one little wee spot right here where you're number 12. Okay, so if you'd like my help, I'd love to help you out, buddy. Let me run one last to report for you. I don't think you're really going to need it, mainly because, honestly, you need a new website. But I'm going to go ahead and run an auditor report so you can see what we're dealing with as far as any on-page technical SEO errors. This is just speaking about on-page technical SEO errors. This is called Link Assistant. I run this, use this to run all my audits. Um, and basically, essentially tells me, you know, do you got broken links, broken images, empty alt tags, uh, mixed uh, security issues, HTTP, HTTPS, that sort of thing. And um, once we have that, you got a general overview of what type of technical difficulties you're going to be having as far as your on page SEO. Now, that being said, I would still tell you to rebuild this site. It does not, I mean, it may be in Word. I've, maybe in WordPress but I don't see it as being in WordPress but it likely is a WordPress website all right but I'd rebuild this site make a thousand times better site drop a shit ton of content in it and when I say a ton of content I'd drop about 30,000 words of content my content costs $25 time for 500 words so 20,000 words of content is a thousand dollars uh, the website I pay, you know, I'd charge you about $350 to do. Um, then the SEO is going to be $800 a month. I need about two months, so $1,600 on the SEO, and you'll be dominating the three pack in Belmont. All right, so let's go back over to here. Now that our report should be done, you have 113 issues, 12 are errors, 2 are warnings, 99. Our info issues. So your main problem, empty alt text, duplicate titles, duplicate meta descriptions, not really a whole lot of technical stuff here. But overall, your problem isn't the technical stuff. It's your site is not really a site. You don't, it's not properly laid out. You don't have enough content besides not having enough content. And you know, you got some SEO issues going on that we've already went over that I would get handled and taken care of. I just need six to eight weeks and then i can have you dominating three three pack as a moving company in Belmont, texas hopefully this answers your question if you have any questions man just let me know um you know where to reach me at i am at rankfortress.com and we'd gladly love to help you dominate your area for moving company in belmont again my name is william jones and in today's video we did an seo audit and a google my business audit for moving company in Belmont, Texas. I appreciate you guys. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. Always, as always, like, subscribe, and share our channel. We appreciate you guys, and you guys be blessed.